Hello, welcome to this week's Legislative Update. I'm Jim Baumgart, your host, and the co-host, of course, is Nanette Bullabush from Hi. Elkhart Lake. Hi, I'm thrilled to be here. Thank you. And we have a wonderful guest, mm -hmm. Nanette, uh, uh, Ellen Schreicher, who is the Register of Deeds, and uh, we want to find out for the public, the viewers, um, the complexity of their job, which yes. is not just registering deeds. It's much, much more. <laughs> right. One of the things that my wife uses your Register of Deeds office for a lot, which is not a main part of your job, and that's genealogy. Um, some of these people watching, um, some are older, some are younger, and they do genealogy. Mm -hmm. How did that work in your office? Well, um, we do get quite a few genealogists in, and what it happens is what we do now is they have to uh, show us identification, fill out a form, tell us who they're looking for. It can't be just, uh, it has to be, they have to name their families or whatever. Um, we keep that form on record for a year, and then they just can just come in and sign in and, and go back into our vital records uh, uh, room. And they can pretty much go through the indexes, find the records that they're looking for, and um, take down the information that they that they are looking for. And generally, it's uh, it might be uh, for health reasons. You know, the death certificates give uh, mm. the reason for death, the cause of death. Uh, it could be for looking back for who the parents or grandparents or great grandparents are. Uh, recently, we've been very busy because the country of Luxembourg is allowing folks to uh, apply for dual citizenship. Oh. And um, it's, I think it's until 2018 they can do that. Uh, and so they have to find their great, great grandparents <laughs> and, and prove that they were born in Luxembourg and okay. came over here from Luxembourg. So it's been rather uh, active in our office with with that a lot of people that are applying for that dual dual citizenship. Yeah, that's interesting. Well, anyway, if people uh, want to do some genealogy for whatever reason, dual citizenship or just finding out um, some medical records so that uh, a new family that's starting out knows if uh, uh, some of our ancestors died of breast cancer or something else that uh, might be in the um, family tree, and so that's good to know. Mm -hmm. Yes, it anyway. is. So, so let's clarify, you are located in the county courthouse or in that building next door to it? In the administration okay. building on the right. corner of 5th and New York. Okay, and you the work second for floor. Okay. <laughs> and you work for Sheboygan County. And just give us an all-around brief one-minute summary of what your office does. Well, um, well, all land records, any land records are, are recorded in our office, and that's a deeds, mortgages, satisfactions. Um, we have business trade names recorded in our office. We have church chattels. Hmm. Um, it's interesting, our miscellaneous books, you can look and back and see what businesses were opened in Sheboygan when they closed. Um, the church charters or whatever, it's, you know, there's just a mountain of information, you know, that's, that's in our records. I mean, there are 1848 forward um, so people can go in a lot of time we get people that come in that they want to know who owned their house before they before they had it you know the history of even their their homes and the title folks use that also um, there uh, we have a lot we deal a lot with titles title people and attorneys who are you know uh, looking up past records, past land records. So it's a historian's dream. It is, right. You love history, kind of, we like kind you of do. say we're like the librarians of the county. And, but you also have a very timely function. Um, we know that Wisconsin recently passed some restrictions on voting. We, now we require a photo ID when you vote. And I understand that people can come to your office uh, to prove they are who they are, they often need a birth certificate, and that's something you can you can supply. Correct. Tell correct. us about that. Correct. Years ago, probably prior to 2006, um, they when they passed the Real ID Act, um, you, they didn't need their birth certificates. People didn't need their birth certificates like they do now. Now you need it for just about everything, mm -hmm. you know, uh, employment, right. driver's license, Real ID, or the the voter ID. Um, 
and they have to prove if you know if you're a woman, female, unfortunately, every time you change your name, you have to have that record. So then you're looking at marriage records that you know someone's been married two, three times, or any time there's a name change. Um, it's they're vital. They really are vital records that are protected and but always it's, available. But it's in our made office. more more difficult to to get uh, the information so you can get uh, and vote. Correct. Correct. And I think thousands of people have been uh, frustrated because uh, some of the very, very elderly people were, um, you know, still born at home in some rural right. area. So there may yeah. not be a record, right? Yeah. That could be pretty tough. Some it, people have lost right. their franchise, unfortunately. The state, the state does have a way. There are ways they can do that. But you're right. When they're elderly, and um, we've had that a lot where folks need, them, need you know, they decide they're going to get a passport for the first time. Mm -hmm. and. They're in their 70s or 80s, and their records aren't complete. Um, they have to go through hoops. They have to look for school records. They have to look for baptismal records. They have to have witnesses. Um, so it's difficult. It's doable, but it takes time. And um, it is very, most of our records are pretty good, but years ago, sometimes they weren't as complete as what they are now. Well, and if you're 20 or 30, you're, you know, you're agile and, and you know, sharp, and if you're 70, 75, and uh, 80, and you want to go back to the old country to see where your mother was born, and, um, it's not worth the effort after a while. So you're really blocked from doing things that you should have a right to do. Mm-hmm. Yep. Unfortunately. Yeah. But we try and work with them folks pretty much, and, and the state does also. So. so you're sort of like the first place someone can go, and if you cannot help them, say they were born in another state, you can at least refer them to somewhere else. Right. Um, we can now issue statewide. Uh, so uh, prior to 2017, you had to go back to the county that, that you were born in or your parents were residences to get your birth record. Um, in uh, 2017, as I said, um, we are able now to oh, issue statewide. So you don't have to go up to um, Ashland or something to get that. Correct. You don't have to be there in person. Well, that's that's at least a good. Well, I, I was born in Manitowoc County, and a couple of times I needed uh, for service and other re uh, reasons uh, a birth certificate, and I had to go up to Manitowoc. Right. And I now you don't have. To. I don't have to. That's you can right. do it for me. That's a good thing. You. you are wonderful. That's yeah. <laughs> Well, we try. <laughs> yes, you do. You are. We, we do have one of the things that has uh, um, been interesting, Nanette, is that um, these offices that the counties run, and these uh, individuals are elected individually yes. by, by the people, is the new technology. You, you've been modernizing, and uh, why don't you uh, tell the viewers some of the things that your new technology is cutting costs and saving money? Well, we have, since I came into office, um, my goal was to digitize or pr to help preserve the records that we have and get them all on computers. So we have um, records scanned back to 1935 at the present time. Um, I'm working on getting them all scanned um, as money is allowed. So the older ones are still in hard copy version. They're correct? still in hard copy version. Um, but we're going to get them digitized so that it's easier for folks to access those records. Um, it's, we have increased our productivity tremendously. Mm. Um, the the um, records that we receive on a daily basis uh, to record generally can be seen the same day on the computer. Oh my. So where year, years ago it was weeks before they could get that access to those records. So. Mm. And that helps the real estate uh, folks mm -hmm. as far as selling homes and you know getting the keeping that record up to date. Sure. So it's it's it's, a lot more it's good, but we're working on that. Yeah. It takes time. It's a it's a long project. You know, it's not something that's done overnight. So. And Nanette, uh, one of the things about Ellen's uh, position and their staff, they are one of the only county offices that makes money for the citizens of Chibon County. You do, because if, you if charge they, a fee, it, and so you, mm -hmm. you cost less than you're taking in. Correct. That's, that's because great. when, when okay. the sales of houses are up, uh, your income is up, and that goes into the general coffers of the county, doesn't it? Correct. Our office, actually, the fees that we, that we do charge, 
um, helps the state also because the state gets more more of the fair share than the county does, <laughs> they, unfortunately. They are, they are a little greedy sometimes. Yes, they so. are. <laughs> um, but we do, um, we do most of the time, uh, very, since I've started, we've at least been able to give back, you know, in about excess of about $100,000 to wow. that goes into the general fund. And then we have our little fund that on the, you know, the land records that um, other departments use those dollars um, to purchase, do the flyovers. And, the the and time goes so like fast that. in these interviews. We've got like a couple of minutes left. What's the most important thing you want people to know about your office? Uh, I think that if you want to know anything about what's going on in the county, what went on in the history of the county, that uh, our office is the office to come to. Um, we try and get you out speedily. We um, want you to leave our office happy okay. and not frustrated. And they can find you on the Sheboygan County website, is that correct? Yeah, okay. www.sheboygancounty.com and just go under departments and register a deed. Super, Press thank the you. button and out you come. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Ellen. It's been such a pleasure talking thank to you. Thank you. One, one of the things that uh, um, uh, is, is important is the, the, the fact that uh, um, not really important, but you offer a gift certificate, don't you, for people that want to give something, um, you know, they're getting married and, and, you know, you give them a gift so that they can buy their um, license free. I mean, they, you can do that, right? Right. Um, just, a, starting, just starting this year. It's this, new. It's new, and thanks, I thank the county board for allowing me to do that. But we get folks in our office, and I'm just going to use this as a quick example. Gentleman um, and his wife, wife-to-be, came in. He needed his birth certificate. He needed a divorce certificate. Then they had to go down and apply for their marriage license. Mm -hmm. You know, so... Um, then you know they got to come back after they're married and and get their marriage certificate. So you know those costs can add up. And we've had folks come in uh, that you know are a little strapped for money, and that's probably one of the last things that they want you know to spend those dollars on. So we came up with a gift certificate program that if you know someone who's having a baby and they don't need any baby toys or baby you can come into our office and purchase a gift certificate for a free birth certificate. Yeah. Oh, I so, see, to help somebody else. To help somebody to else. So for oh. that gift that keeps on giving, That's as great. what we say, you know, um, Christmas, Christmas time sure. around and you well, know, that's, you want- That's wonderful, Ellen, and we do have to close it. We're, we're running out of time again. Right. Yeah. Um, we do want to thank uh, uh, Ellen Schleicher, who's the Registrar of Deeds, and uh, uh, of course, Nanette uh, Bullybush, uh, co-host, uh, for uh, joining us and the viewers. Until next time, Thank this you. has been Legislative Update. <laughs>